All right, welcome in to the next episode of Matt Cooks. Okay, today we are making the ever elusive coffee cake. Okay, and um, so we're, we're 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 tackling a cake. That's what we're doing today. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the streusel. Can't have coffee cake without without some a good streusel. So we're going to start with this. This is going to be made up of a quarter cups. Of flour, move that out of the way. Quarter cup of flour, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, probably a little more, and then I'm gonna cut in a quarter cup of butter. Okay, so we've got the flour. To that, we're going to add our sugars. All right, here we go. Brown sugar. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. There's your brown sugar. White sugar. I'm gonna improvise a little bit here and say, okay, that's a little bit less than a quarter of the white. We're gonna favor the brown sugar because brown sugar is good for streusel. Okay, so there's your flour and sugar mixture. To that we're going to add a teaspoon and or enough. All right, let's see, where is our cinnamon? Here we go. That's one teaspoon is just, you get the idea, not, not much, but we'll make sure we got, let's get plenty of cinnamon in there. All right, that's probably a, a good bit more than a teaspoon, but and it's just totally fun. Okay, now we're going to add to that, we're gonna cut in a quarter cup of butter in pieces because this is going to, we're gonna make this to be somewhat crumbly. I think the certain coffee cakes I've tried before have the idea of using melted butter and I just don't, and pouring that on there and that's just, I don't, I don't think that's a, I don't, I don't care for that. So we want it just to be crumbly. We don't want it to be too liquidy. Okay. So, all right, let's try to see what we can do with that. All right. And we're just going to kind of mix this together. We just want it to be kind of a crumbly mixture here. As the, as that all kind of sticks to the butter and just kind of crumbles together. Okay, so kind of smaller pieces of butter. Let those just sort of stick to that. Okay, there we go. All right, a little bit more here. Okay, there you have it. Let's go ahead and get that all mixed in. All right. It's starting to look like what you see on top of a coffee cake. It will be cooked in, so it will um, not just be just like that, but I don't know, I haven't tried this before, we'll see how this turns out, okay. All right. All right, so we've got our streusel ready, I suppose. Set that to the side, we're going to come back to that. Now for our main cake mix. I'm going to start with two cups of flour. I'm 
And we're then going to add, let's go down the ingredients. So for that, you for the streusel, once again, a quarter cup flour, half a cup, or a quarter cup white sugar, quarter cup brown sugar, teaspoon, a little more than that, of ground cinnamon, um, and then a quarter cup of butter cut in. Then we're going to, for the cake, it's going to be two cups of flour, three quarters cups of white sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of, um, or half a cup of butter, one egg, half a cup of milk, a quarter cup of oil, and then one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So we've got our flour. Let's add our sugar. And then we're going to add in two teaspoons of baking powder. And our cinnamon, looking at Looks like I failed to include how much cinnamon. Actually, you're not supposed to put the cinnamon there, but like that's as far as what the recipe I'm working with. But we're going to, because just like the Snickerdoodle cookies, you might as well, you know, we're not going to make these cinnamon just by topping them with cinnamon. We're going to put some cinnamon in there. So I don't know, maybe a teaspoon. Let's just say a, we'll say a teaspoon of cinnamon, and from that, now we're going to cut in. Let's kind of mix that together. Just get it all. Mixed in. And we're once again, again, going to cut in the butter. Okay. be for half a cup though. I mean we're not trying to go with the consistency like we were at the streusel of a so I'm just gonna not be too particular about this. Let's just cut in a little slices here okay now get all that mixed up nicely I mean, this is gonna ultimately have to be battery I'm, I'm, I guess we can hold off on breaking it down too much until we just get the liquid in here but uh, let's just go ahead and cut up this butter a good bit and just try to get it stirred up. It's not uh, super uniform with those chunks of butter at this point, but I just kind of try to get it good and combined. Okay. All right. Next step, we're going to add in. Our egg, milk, and oil.
And our half, uh, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I'm gonna go ahead and start preheating the oven at this point. I feel like we're kind of getting near the end, getting all the rest, of, getting our ingredients mostly together. So let's go ahead and start preheating the oven. All right. There's one. And I'm just gonna, about one and a half there. Okay, so that's everything, all of our ingredients that we need. And this is going to be 350 for 25 minutes. And this batter is very more doughy than battery. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Oh, I've not tried this yet. So, but we're gonna we're gonna trust the we're gonna trust the recipe on this. So, I know that it's my instinct is to say, well, this is not what I would think of as batter. You can sort of think of batter as pretty much poured in. This seems like. Almost like we're making dough, but. But you know, I think that, not that makes is gonna make it a little bit bready, but I think, when I think of a good coffee cake, sometimes it is a bit bready. And a little bit. So we're gonna trust the, we're gonna see what we get here. Experiment a little bit. but it's really kind of not easy to even incorporate all of the flour. But I will say that the this definitely results in you can still see that butter pieces in there which we're leaving and that typically in baking when that butter melts during baking it creates those pockets and makes it a lot softer so that you know there, this could be a Seems like then this would result in a something somewhat thick but soft. So let's let's see how that turns out. Okay. All right. I think we've got it all in there. Now we've got our pan prepared, and <laughs> looks like we're almost practically just not really pouring it in like you would a normal cake batter. But that's okay. We're just going to rather 
spread that out. I don't mind, mind it being as thin as it is here because I think one of the big difficulties with any cake is making sure you don't have a tough time getting that center cooked all the way through. Because a cake, I mean, that's okay with cookies because it'll keep baking and a little bit of uncooked center. Taste bad, but this is. But with cake, batter is not really something that tastes good um, if there's something uncooked. So, but, alright. Alright, here's our streusel. It's, it's kind of tough because it's hard to not just grab too much of it. You got some that's pretty powdery, so it's more of the chunks. We will try to spread that out as evenly as we can here. Get a mixture of it. Hey, Dad. All right, I'll keep working on that. Just one moment. All right. Let's just keep trying to get all this incorporated. Looks like the oven is good to go. And this is going to be 350. And no further prep. No sending this to the fridge for any amount of time this is all kind of in one once you can get your ingredients out this is all a sort of a single step process all right there we go let's see how this turns out like i said i haven't tried this before so we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes try to get some of those chunks spread out they should melt and then um we'll see how that ends up but let's see where we where this uh how this cake this co coffee cake ends up let's throw it in the oven and we will be back and see how it goes all right guys we are back and we have and got we're this gonna eat it in a second we have got a cooled off uh, coffee cake it's looking really good very it up. very soft but completely solid completely cooked through but definitely very um breakable very light and fluffy uh crumbling apart but but still, I'm gonna have the solid. smallest part so that I have more of it. Okay. I think I should eat the biggest so I have more of it. So we're chance. gonna give this a shot here. I'm just gonna eat the smallest first. Okay. It actually does hold together. Yeah, it does. It's solid but very soft. Mmm. Mmm. What do you think? So good. Taste like the last one you made. Hmm. Is that a good or a bad thing? Uh, bad because it also doesn't look, taste like the sh sugar cook those your uh, the snickerdoodle cookies. I don't really taste like that at all. It just like tastes weird. Hmm. So I think we have a <laughs> the first negative review. I think Andrew doesn't really care for it. You don't want to eat the rest of it. Mm -hmm. I will. I like it. It's. A, I think. A, why I like the your last coffee cake was because I think you had like a lot of cinnamon in it. Hmm. Well, I put think more the cinnamon. butter. I think it was the melted butter that's not making. I think you're just not supposed to use melted butter in this. Hmm. Okay. It, it doesn't taste as good as last. Well, one. I'm gonna just go Probably and take that as my cue to enjoy this this other full piece. Hmm. I feel like I've tasted this. I feel like I've tasted this before. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's kind of, this kind of actually kind of tastes like the pretzels a bit. Yeah, it tastes <laughs> like the pretzels, but a bit softer. Hmm. It's like the pretzels, but a bit softer. We have a thumbs up and a thumbs down, but I think it's pretty dang good. Well, mine is a thumb sideways. Sideways. Okay, it's not saying it's bad, just maybe not as good as before, but yeah, I, I really it like it. It tastes a, a bit cin of a cinnamon pretzel. Okay, well, Which I don't it's think that quite good. would taste good. But that's our coffee cake. You can give it a shot. See what you think. And we'll see you guys and next time. And see if it ends up like the way I think I was tasting it to you. Maybe it's just because our taste buds are different. Maybe, yeah. All right, we'll Everyone see you next time. different things. That's right.